Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. So in this new episode, we are going to talk about how to create a camera rig rail, right? That you're going to say that is simple enough. Like all you need to do is to click here, right? And go to cinematic and create your rig rail. And you can start simply, you know, dragging with alt and this should create, all right, our, um, a rig rail, right? But this is the thing. If you start dragging this thing, you know, the, the, the spline points are going to start flying all about. And even though you have surface snapping, it's not going to be a certain thing that it's always going to snap. And imagine that you need to do like a huge rig rail. You're going to be driving like a car with the, with the rig rail. Well, this is why you should learn blueprints because one of the things that blueprints can do is all those boring things you can make them fun and easy to do so we're going to use a new blueprint so we're going to right click on an empty space on the content browser we go blueprint class and we're going to select you know the easiest and emptiest of them all that's the actor class and we're going to rename it uh rig creator all right that's it and we're going to save it and we're going inside the blueprint editor. And this time we are not going to work in the construction script. We are going to work directly on the event graph. And we're not going to need any of these uh, events because we are going to create our own, our own custom event, all right? To create a custom event, you just need to right click, all right, on an empty space of your event graph. And we can call for uh, custom and there it is add custom event now we're going to rename it to create rig right so this is going to be the name of this event right here and remember that when we created like a variable and then we uh, use this shot eye right here. We open the eye that is, you know, to make it instance editable. So what that would do is very simple. So it is, if you drag your uh, blueprint actor into the scene, if you go to the default tab in the, in, in the details, you're going to see that, yes, we have access to those variables. Well, in this case, we're not going to use at least not this variable. We're going to use something very similar but with our custom event and that is what is called call in editor so right now if i click here right and i hit compile you're going to see that in the default um in in the default tab of the of the actor details you're going to see that there is this create rig event and i can call upon this event you know at any time all right so this is in a sense like working in the construction script, but there are a couple of things, a couple of nodes that you cannot use in the construction script. So this is why this is very useful. So what we are going to need is uh, do almost the same structure that we did before with, uh, you know, the light, um, the light manager. We are going to create a couple of actors and we're going to assign them um, um, we're going to sign them attack, all right? So uh, let's do it. For example, we go to basic, I can drag an actor, I can drop it right here. And this actor, I'm going to search on the details for tag. There it is. And I'm going to create a new actor tag, all right? And this actor tag on this um, actor, actor, we are going to call it um, spline point all right that's it i'm going to copy also this name just because i'm later we're going to use it all right spline point this is the tag that we're going to assign to all these actors all right now getting back to our blueprint so we are going to do almost the same as last time so but it's going to be simplest you're going to see why so we're going to drag from our execution in the socket and we're going to drop and we're going to look for spawn camera 
rig rail, rig from actors. This one, spawn camera rig from actors. And that's it, now it's here. But as you see, it needs, you know, an array of actors. So how can we get this array of actors? Well, as we did before, we are going to use the get actors by tag. Actor with tag, this one right here. Get all actors with tag. And now we have a tag socket open and we have an output of all those actors that is that this node is going to find in our level with this tag and it's going to output here. And now we can input this here. And because we want this to work in any level and be reusable, we are going to drag from this tag socket and we're going to promote this as a variable. And the tag name is perfect. I'm not going to change it. What, what I'm going to do is to use the uh, little i. And now it's going to be exposed on the details, right? Let's check that out. Don't you worry about these um, uh, compiling errors. We're going to fix them pretty soon. So now if I come here and I delete you know, the filter, we can see that in, if I select my recreator, I have a tag. All right, that I can now paste, right? The spline point tag that we created right here, all right? And we have also the create rig, all right? Now let's go back and finish up this node. So this node requires a couple of things. So it needs first a world context object. We can use the default scene root right here. So right here, so we can drag it, drop it, and we can connect it right here and this should be solved. Now, we're going to need one more thing and that is the rig transform. So for that, we are going to drag from the, the fold scene root and we're going to get world transform, all right? This should do it. Now we can connect this here and we should be almost ready. We're still having one more thing with the params. So uh, this is fixed just by right clicking the params and split it, all right? A split struct, struct pin, all right? Now it has, we, we have this information display here and I guess, yeah, that's all. Now we have this working. So this is exciting. What will this thing do? All right, let's test this. So I'm going to save it, compile it and close it. And now we can grab, so this one right here is our recreator, all right? And this one right here is the actor that I added that tag, right? So let's test this. We're going to now, you know, grab this actor and start creating copies of it by holding Alt and dragging it around. But now, because we have the surface snapping, I can start, you know, pretty, pretty fast, you know, just dragging without dropping, dragging without dropping, dragging without dropping, dragging without dropping, and dropping, and dropping, and dropping. And as you see, they are all going to be flush with the terrain. It doesn't matter, you know, how the terrain, you know, goes. And you can continue, you know, creating copies with the surface snapping. And, you know, depending on where you set them, you're going to see magic happen. And that is now let's select our rig creator and we can simply create rig and voila, that's it. We have right right here a camera rig rail that follows the terrain because it is following the actors, right? The actors with the tag and because it's going to follow the um, the time of creation, you know, the, the priority of who was created first, you know, it will follow the same path for the spline. And if you are still, you know, if you want to continue, you say, you could say, well, this is good, but it could be better. What you can do is delete the camera rig, uh, the camera rig rail, and now you can continue maybe, you know, um, I'm going to grab this last one and I'm going to duplicate, duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. And when you feel that you are ready, all you need to do is to come here to your recreator 
and hit create read again. And now it's going to expand upon, you know, what you had before. And this is a safe thing because now you can delete the, the rig any number of times. And you all, all you need to do is to come back here and create a rig and it's going to, you know, um, uh, recreate it. Now, if you want to, you know, go explicitly into each of these, uh, you can select, you can edit, all right, the, the camera rig rail on your own once you feel it's ready and that is long enough and that is working you can go and, you know, finish it, you know, with your uh, uh, spline controls, right? So I guess this is why you really need to go into Blueprints. And I wish, you know, to spark, spark a little bit of creativity because as you see with a couple of notes, we can, you can do a lot of, you know, pretty cool stuff. So, you know, the drill, be good. Love you all and see you soon. Bye-bye.